Hello, everyone. Welcome to Doctor Bay's Fun Life. Since it's early summer already, it's a high time to take on the Alaska cruise trip. So in this video, I'm inviting you to travel with me to the Alaska eight-night cruise trip, which is the trip that I always dreamed of. It will be a round trip starting from Seattle, and as you can see here, we're having a super nice and sunny day here. In today's video, I'm going to focus on my embarkation process, getting to know the ship and all the packages and the essentials and packing with me. So if you're interested, just bear with me to the end of the video. We're taking on the Princess Cruise. At the same port, we're seeing other cruises like Holy America Line as well. There's always a long line waiting to be boarded, and we could drop off our luggage to save some effort and time. At the entrance, they will check your passport, visa, or green card, whatever necessary document needed to travel with you. And surprisingly, they will keep your green card for several days, locked in their safe, before they return them back to you. This is something new to us because in our prior cruise trip, we never had the green card kept by the crew member. I think it depends on the cruise line and also the ports you are traveling to. I do see a lot of folks taking their luggage inside the security and spend long line and longer time in the waiting to drop off their luggage. Today we are boarding on the yeah. Discovery Princess, which is the newest yeah. cruise Baba. for Ask the Daddy. Princess Cruise Line. This mega ship is approximately 14 tons in weight. It can host approximately 4,000 guests and another 1,400 crew members. It includes the newest decorations and also the newest technology. We are boarding around 1 p.m. At that time, the earliest boarding group starts at 11 a.m. in the morning already. After we get the medallion key, we do need that to check in at this entrance of the ship. The highest deck number is 17, and at this elevator, there's always a long line and a super long wait, which is very frustrating. Maybe the biggest complaint I have towards this cruise is about the super slow elevator. Almost always takes more than 5 minutes of waiting, and I would rather take the stairs. Now, in order What's to swipe open the state nice room, you just need the new technology of the medallion. Basically, medallion is like this uh, little spherical I'm showing you right now. You can choose to have this shipped to your house ahead of the trip. So this can save you some uh, line or waiting time during the boarding and check-in. And uh, some people choose to hang it on the neck or you can kind of uh, put in a different style um, to fit this uh, medallion into a wristband and put it uh, as uh, your watch. So whichever is easier for you, it works. Your door can sense the medallion pretty much 5 meters away. So when you walk closer to your door, it's unlocked already. Voila! This is our balcony stateroom which is approximately 200 square feet. It has a king-size bed plus a sofa bed, so totally three people can be accommodated here, and we can enjoy a nice view and photo point from our own balcony. This cost us triple the price of the interior stateroom. What I like about this room is that it has a storage cabinet area that's separate from the bedroom. And it's spacious enough to fit in my big luggage, strollers, bags, and clothes. Standard bathroom similar to my other cruise experience. I don't like the thermostat inside this room because you cannot see the temperature numbers. But I do like the safety feature of the waterproof cable. The shampoo and shower gel are in the lotus scent. For some reason, we don't like the sofa bed, and as you can see, it's very narrow, and it's very difficult to set up. Besides, the mattress is not leveled, so it's not even to sleep on. There's a built-in hair dryer in the drawer of the study table, which means you cannot use it in the bathroom. The small refrigerator underneath this drawer. But problem is, once you set up your sofa bed, you cannot open that door of the refrigerator, which is a stupid design in my opinion. Lucky for us, we are enjoying a super beautiful day in Seattle. 
sunny ocean and the beautiful view. And you can see other crews and ships and yachts in the ocean far away. Outside of each stateroom, there is a control panel like shown here, where you can set up the privacy mode or request for the cleaning service. Now, you may want to know two caveats with the cleaning service here. First caveat is the wait time. Once you request for the service, usually it takes more than half an hour for the guy to come over and clean your room. Also, when he is doing the cleaning inside, you cannot even access your room, so this is very inconvenient. You might want to keep a close eye on your medallion because that's linked to your personal information and also it can be used for the onboard purchase. Now that the onboarding process is completed, we are ready to sail at the sea. It's a nice weather for the outdoor pool at the top deck. There's a big screen for sports game, movies, and quiz. You can watch them while you're floating. And there is sauna pool and the bar. A perfect weather to do the sun bath. And here what I like about this place is they can give you multiple towels without charging to your medallion card. And people can do the aqua zumba here as well. Also in the corner, there is a sweet store which can give you the ice cream cone. My kid always loves the ice cream cone here. And for me, I also want to enjoy more of the beverage, liquor, and all the services. And as you know me, my favorite is always the pina colada and mojito. In my point of view, the best value would be the plus package on top of my balcony stateroom. The price difference between the plus and the standard package is only 400 US dollars for each adult. And this covers all the bottled water and unlimited juice, and also covers 15 daily alcoholic beverage under 15 bucks each. Moreover, it also covers one Wi-Fi device, the crew appreciation fee, two premium desserts every day, and also two Finnic classes for the entire cruise. And you can track your expense and beverage consumption through your apps. In my opinion, they didn't really count that beverage consumption in your apps. So you pretty much have unlimited alcohol and other beverages as well, which is nice. And the specialty coffee also counts into that 15 daily beverage. And here, my favorite is the coconut icy latte and also the cappuccino. The premium dessert comes from the gelato store, where you can have the premium ice cream sorbet and they can give you the handcrafted fancy ice cream like shown here. This is Godfather. Sparkling water and spirits are also included in this beverage package, so this is very very nice. Here is a comparison of the weather for both Seattle and Ketchikan. So pretty much Ketchikan is 5 to 10 degrees Celsius lower than that of Seattle. And this is also showing you the global warming's impact on the Alaska area. Crayon, activity book, and this coloring book are the must for the little one. 
Otherwise, they will bug me like crazy. Because I wanted to travel light, so I tried to limit all of my skincare and cosmetic products. So I include everything here in this uh, uh, small pouch. And here I'm just showing you uh, what I have here. It's an eye drop and the uh, um, travel size of the facial cream, lip balm, travel size of the body cream, and the um, a small plastic comb for my little hair and some uh, travel size of the sampler and eye cream and uh, the uh, facial cream everything is in a smaller travel size which is uh, fitting to the travel purpose nicely this is also the treatment lotion for my face so also, I highly recommend this earbud because you can literally hear people banging on the floor. So this is trying to minimize the noise and give you a good night's sleep. Okay. And because I have this vertigo or sea sickness issue, I just bring this uh, ginger chews candy. This is a must have for those who suffer the vertigo. Okay, I highly recommend this. And for this trip, because of this candy chews, I think my vertigo issue is minimal or it's uh, barely there compared to my last uh, cruise trip okay so this really helps also i bring my multivitamin candy um, like this and i prepare this floss these two are also the must-have for me okay and for the outfit purpose i bring with me the swimsuits the down jacket and three sets of this kind of cardigan or sweaters and another four sets of this uh, plain tea, okay? I intend to travel light and because there's a laundromat to wash your clothes, so I intend to keep the uh, outfit to the very minimal essentials. Okay. And in terms of footwear, I bring one pair of sneakers and another pair of this light-weighted loafer. So you can bend it and twist it inside of your luggage without issue. And it's pretty much going well with all of your um, styling outfit. So this is very worthy to buy and travel with. We did, you know, follow the advice online and uh, um, bring some of the, um, uh, the rain boots and the snow boots. But uh, because of the global warming and the nice weather here, we ended up not using them at all. So for those who travel in the summer times of the Alaska, maybe the advice for you is try to limit your rain boots or the uh, snow boots because Chances are you may not uh, be able to use them at all, but choice is yours. Obviously, some of my friends traveled here last week. They uh, had a lot of rain, so they kind of uh, utilized the, the rain boots. So. Another two essentials to bring with Alaska trip is the highly protective UV sunscreen cream and one pair of the sunglasses because here we do experience a strong intensive solar radiation so these two are the must-have okay and for the cosmetic purpose i really travel light this time i only bring two lipsticks so one is in the mauve rose color and the other is the uh, roasted peach so these two will serve most of the occasions and purposes so these two are useful, okay? In each of the decks, there is a laundromat. And I like this area because everything is free. And certainly it's making the travel so easy because now we can travel with less of the clothes. This is pretty much it for day one embarkation. And please join me for the later days of the trip when we have more fun of the activity and excursions.